hi welcome back to mama sanity thank you for tuning in um i'm doing a video today on monday because i just wanted to do something fun to start off your week i know a lot of people are coming off of the weekend um it was fiesta this weekend so i know it was pretty pretty draining for a lot of you um, and so I just wanted to do something fun. I found um, on Pinterest the ABCs to life. And so I just thought I'd share it with you today um, just to help um, start you off on, in the right direction for your week. So here we go. The ABCs of life. A, avoid negative sources, people, places, and habits. B, believe in yourself. That's extremely important. If you don't believe in yourself, who else is going to believe in you, right? You have to believe in yourself. C, consider things from every angle. Think inside the box, think outside the box, sit on the box, throw the box up in the air, roll the box if you have to. Think of every pro, con, um, consequence, everything before you make a decision. D, don't give up and don't give in. I've told y'all several times before, don't ever give up. You know, right when you're at that, you're at the point of you're fixing to get your miracle, you're fixing to receive your breakthrough, the enemy's whispering, give up, it's not gonna happen, you've been waiting years and years and years and nothing's happened, don't give up. <clears throat> e, everything you're looking for lies behind the mask that you wear, okay? It's very true, you are you. Don't be fake, don't be a person that you're not supposed to be. You gotta look, be able to look at yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and say, I am my true self, okay? Kind of what you see is what you get, okay? Um, kind of, you know, who you truly are. We wear tons of hats. I, I wear the hat of a wife and a mom and a sister and a neighbor and um, a daughter and cousin and you know, whatever. And at the end of the day, when I take off all these hats, I need to know that I'm still brainy, I'm still me. Even being all these other people, I'm still me, I'm truly me. Um, F, family and friends are hidden treasures. Seek them and all enjoy all the riches. That is so true. We were talking about in church this week about family, not just the family you're born into or the family that you marry into, but the family that God, God has adopted us all once we accept him. And so the family of Christ, um, the church and our friends and neighbors. G, give more than you plan to. That's so important, you know. Even if you don't plan on giving, if you feel that nudge to give a little something, give your time, give food, give money, whatever it is. You know, I, I like to keep a bag of snacks in my truck so when I see homeless people, you know, I can, I don't have the money to give them, but I have something to give, you know, or, you know, there's been times where I've seen somebody standing outside and it's cold and I'm coming out of the grocery store and I go back in and get them a blanket, you know, just... If you feel that nudge to do something, please be obedient and just do it um, for that person because you never know what kind of difference you can make for that person. Um, H, hang on to your dreams. I've told you so many times, have a dream and hang on to it. Now, your dreams change, okay? My dream as a child was to be a teacher. That was my passion. That was my love. I would set my animals up and, you know, I would pretend to teach them like every day and, you know, I was just all gung-ho for being a teacher. Um, I kid you not, this is how I picked my career, or not my career, my, my major in college, is I signed up for teaching. A couple months later, I got discouraged, and I said, I, I, I'm, just, I'm not going to be a good teacher. Like, I'm not creative enough, and I'm fun enough. Like, there's no way. And so I got the course book of Mary Hearn Baylor. I closed my eyes, went like this. I kid you not, it landed on nursing. Never thought of nursing before, but my grandma was a nurse, and so I said, okay. So I didn't graduate with nursing. Yes, I changed my major my senior year. I did three years in nursing, which I was supposed to do that. Like I said before, I had a premature son, and it kind of helped me um, deal with that. But I graduated on time um, with awesome grades, I might add, um, with psychology and sociology, because that really um, interested me. So your dreams change. And... You know, I still thought later on, maybe I still wanted to do the medical field or maybe I still want to do teaching. I've realized over the years, you know, I don't know. But your dreams do change. But once you have a dream or you've had a dream and it hasn't changed, you hold on to that dream and you don't give it up. Like I said, dreams change all the time. Just when you know that you know that you know that this is the dream that God has for you, just don't get discouraged and follow through with it. Um, I, if opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. You know, there's lots of things in this life that we can't just sit back and say, okay, God, you know, if this is your plan for me, then it'll happen. He wants you to take steps with him. He will do the impossible. He will do what you can't do, but you need to grab his hand and you need to do what you are able to do and what he gives you the strength to do. So it's a partnership, okay? And so you got to do 
what you need to do to get your, your dreams fulfilled. Um, J, judge your success by what you have to give in order to get. So, you know, there's lots of people who are successful because they have lots of cars and money and houses and this and that, but they don't do anything with it. They don't give to the people who need need money or, or need certain things. Now, there's lots of rich people who do. There's lots of celebrities that I've read, you know, when there's disasters or, or you know, whatever, they step in and they donate their money and that is awesome. And I'm one of those people who I don't have a lot of money to give, but I give what, what I can. And to me, that makes me successful because I'm trying to help others. I may not have a lot to give, but what I do have, I'm willing to give it up or to share with you if that's what God is calling me to do to help you out. You never know what might help a person. To you, it may be something really, really insignificant or small, but to that person, it may mean the world, okay? Um, let's see. K, keep trying no matter how hard it seems. I've, I've already talked about that. You know, no matter how hard it seems and no matter how hard it is through the storm, you're going to get through it. I promise. Just keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing and you will make it through. L, love yourself. Um, this is a big thing, like believe in yourself. If you don't love yourself, how do you expect other people to, to love you, right? And so you've got to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I, I'm i trying to work on this and I'm being a better person and I'm true to myself and I'm not pretending to be somebody I'm not. So you've got to love who you truly are. And of course, you know, there's tons and tons of things about me that I want to change. Um, but I always pray to God, change in me what needs to be changed. And not only change them, but help me work through them. Okay, so uh, I, I do love myself and I know that there's lots of things that need to be changed about me. And I'm working on that with God. But first and foremost, I got to love who I am now. Um, M, make it happen. Like I've said before, if you have a goal or if you have a dream, just do whatever it takes to make it happen. Never lie, steal, or cheat. That is a really, really, really big one in our house. We tell our kids all the time, I don't care what the, what the reason is, you don't lie. You never lie, okay? Because we're going to find out because we're parents and we always find out. And then you're going to be in trouble to trouble because you found out. Had you not just came up front, man up or woman up and said, I messed up, this is what happened, and then you take your punishment, okay? As adults, you know, we think, okay, well, I can secretly do this or I can secretly do that or I can lie about this or whatever. And you just get in this tangled web and you forget what lie, who you told what and what's going on. But he always knows. God always knows what's going on, what's being said, what you're doing. So that's the one that is important that you don't lie to. But that is a really, really big one. We don't steal anything and we don't cheat. That is a really, really big one in our house. Um, open up your arms to change. Don't let go of your values. <clears throat> you know, I feel like, you know, yes, my goals have changed and my dreams have changed, but my values have not really changed from when I started out being a Christian until now. I still, you know, I still keep my core values of, you know, you don't cheat and you don't steal and you don't do this and you don't commit adultery and you don't murder and you don't do this. And yes, we mess up and, and I make mistakes all the time, but keep true to yourself and don't ever lose who you are so you know i've had friends along the way and i've done things that i knew were not what i needed to be doing but i want to hang out with these people i wanted to go i wanted to do this or see that or you know whatever and at the end of the day you need to be able to look at yourself and say i'm true to who i am and so there's been several times where, you know, I've had to say, oh, you know, no thanks, I appreciate it, I'll hang out with y'all later, or whatever. There's times that I didn't, and like I said, you know, I went along and did that, and then I had to pay for it later in, in my guilt and my conscience. So just remember that. Um, practice makes perfect, I tell my kids all the time. Practice, 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 okay? And even if you think that you've got it down, practice again, and you'll become even better. Okay, when I was in college, I would, I got really, really good advice. You know, everybody's cramming at the end of the semester for tests or whatever, and she said, it's a lot of information in a lot of classes, so what helped me was every single day after class, I would read my notes for all those classes for the day. So like on my Monday, Monday Wednesday, Friday classes, I'd go home on Monday, and I'd read all the notes for 
for those classes on Mondays. And then on Wednesdays, I'd go home and I and I would read all the notes that I took on Monday and Wednesday, and then Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And so it was repetitiveness. Same thing with Tuesday, Thursday. And so as all these kids are cramming at the end of the semester or mid-semester to study, practice makes perfect. It's repetitiveness. You know, I, I would constantly read things and it would help me to remember. And so I did well on the test. Just, you know, a little fun, friendly advice. Um, see quality not quantity in everything you do it's very important you know especially me I always have lists like I have lists everywhere and so I have to-do lists now I could have 20 things on that list and I may not accomplish them all but at the end of the day I want to know that I accomplished what I did accomplish I gave hundred percent and that's what we tell our kids all the time you know we we expect good grades and we expect, you know, they 98% of the time bring home straight A's and we're proud of them and we know that they're smart and we push them to do that. However, there's been times when they haven't brought home the straight A's and we get upset, not because they didn't bring home the straight A's, we get upset because we ask them, did you study? Well, no. Did you bring, did you try, did you try your hardest? Did you practice? Did you go in for tutoring? Did you ask the teacher what I can do for help? Did you, well, no, no. That's when we get upset because you didn't even try. Had you have tried and said, I studied every day or I practiced every day, I went for, for tutoring and I still didn't make the grade, okay, you tried. That's all that we ask. So that's a very big important thing in our house is giving 100% in everything that you do. And at the end of the day, if you still didn't accomplish everything, you can lay your head down at the pillow with confidence knowing I what I did accomplish, I gave 100% and I put in forth the effort. So that's all that we ask. Um, let's see, R, remember silence is sometimes the best answer. I've said before, I struggle with this. Sometimes I just need to <clears throat> zip it, keep my mouth shut. Sometimes I need to bite my tongue. Sometimes, you know, things are better left unsaid. Still working on that. Um, stop procrastinating. Now, I've never really had an issue with this because I'm, you know, the planner and the organizer or whatever. Um, I know lots of people that do procrastinate. Some people work better under pressure, you know, and if that, you're one of those, that's awesome. You know, you, you're down to the wire, your assignment's due tomorrow, and you haven't even started on it, and you stay up all night, you know, that may work for some people. Um, so, you know, whatever works best for you, I'm not going to tell you to change. I'm not going to tell you to be an organizer or a planner. If it works for you, then go with it. Um, <clears throat> Take control of your own destiny. That's important. You know, you see a vision for yourself, take control and, and take the steps that you need to get to that place. Um, understand yourself in order to better understand others. That's important. I have a real big problem in, I take everything personally. So if I don't get feedback or if, if a person doesn't call me right away or, or give me the response that I was hoping for, whatever, I'm always hard on my, and I'm like, okay, did I make that person mad? Did they not like me? Did I, am I too crazy? Like, you know, and I take everything personally and I've been told that's very annoying, which I'm sure it is. It, I, I can see where it'd be very annoying. It's like, Brady, stop. It has nothing to do with you. I was busy or, you know, whatever. And I got to stop taking things personally. So in understanding myself, it's kind of over the years helped me to understand, okay, I'm a certain way and not everybody is like me and other people are more reserved and more, you know, not outspoken or whatever and that's fine. And so it helps me to better understand others, why they are the way they are and how they got to be there. Um, let's see, V, visualize it. I've talked to y'all before about your goals. Your goals and your dreams, they change, right? Okay, so <clears throat> I'm constantly asking myself, where do I see myself in five years? Where do I see myself in 10 years? The goal is to visualize, have a plan. If you don't have a goal or a plan for your life, and that's kind of boring, you're just living your life day to day, going to work, going to school, da, 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 and you don't have like this ultimate goal of, you know, I'm working hard to buy this house, or I'm working hard to, to buy this car, or I'm going to school to get this degree so I can have a career in this. You know, if you don't have a goal, you know, then when you say, where do I see myself, you're gonna say, I don't know, I see myself doing the same thing that I'm doing every day, you know, and it doesn't make life exciting. So you gotta have a goal, and whether it's big steps or little steps, you know, write your goal down. Say, okay, in five years, this is where I see myself. And for those of y'all that don't like, they're not like me that don't like to get everything done right away, then write, write it down on paper. Think over a couple weeks or a month. Come back to it later on and say, okay, here's some ways that I can reach that goal. 
whatever. The important thing is, is to have a goal. And yes, it may change, but you always have some kind of visualization for yourself. Um, w, when you lose, don't lose the lesson. You know, I make mistakes, a million mistakes a day, and I try really hard to learn from my mistakes or learn the lesson in that, like, okay, next time, maybe I should approach the situation different, or maybe I should do this or say this different. You know, you always got to really try and learn from the mistake that you made. Um, excellence in all your efforts. We've talked about that before. You know, give 100% in everything that you do. You are unique. Nothing can replace you. You are you. God created you. Don't try and be the person next door. Don't try to be the person on TV. You are you, and there's nobody else like you, and that's what makes you so awesome, right? And then last, zero in on your target and go for it. You know, again, visualize it and work hard. Don't sit back and think that God's going to take care of everything. He will give you strength to do what you need to do, and then when you've done everything that you can do, then let God take over. But you need to give it your all and not give up and visualize and just zero in on what you need to do and do it. Um, the quote I have for today is about choices. Um, it says, choice is the most powerful tool that we have. Everything boils down to choice. We exist in a field of infinite possibilities. Every choice we make shuts an infinite number of doors and opens an infinite number of doors. At any point, we can change the direction of our lives by a simple choice. It is all in our hands, our hearts, and our minds. I want to share that because every move that you make, every decision that you make has a good or a bad consequence, okay? Everything that I do or say or decide doesn't just affect me. It affects my husband. It affects my children. It affects my mom and dad. It affects my brother and sister. It affects all the people around me, okay? So that's another thing that you need to take into consideration. It's not just all about you. The things that you choose to do or say affect a lot of other people. And so, like I said, you know, think inside the box, outside the box, you know, really focus in and considering all the pros and cons, the goods, the bads, the consequences that are going to come with that choice before you make the right decision. And ultimately, pray about it. Say, God, help me decide the right choice and lead me in the way I need to be led. So that's all I have for you today. I hope this was not too heavy for a Monday. Um, I was trying to, you know, give you a little fun push for the week. Um, I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all's week. And until next time, stay safe.